This is a video demonstrating a two-player Voronoi split-screen system. In the system, players can wander around the world together and the screen stays as one. And when players want to go their separate ways, they can and the screen will split to accommodate them. The line separating them is always directly in between them, so players can simply walk toward that line and they know they'll find each other. The thickness of the line is determined by the distance between the players, giving them a feel for how far away they are from each other. There's also a sticky version where the horizontal line will snap to vertical or snap to horizontal when it's nearby. To integrate this Voronoi split screen system into your level, there are a few things you need to do. First, go to your character and add a couple of variables we need to set. The first is a variable of type texture render target 2D a reference. You don't have to set the default to anything as we'll set it in the editor. And then player index is just an integer. In the editor, find your two characters, make sure one of their capture texture targets is capture target zero, which is included and the other should be capture under target one and that one should have player index one while the other has player index zero. Back in our character class, make sure the camera has a low field of view so the edges of the screen don't get distorted and set the camera length to match so nice and large. On the camera, make a scene capture component T with a field of view to match and the target will set dynamically. Now make an instance of the capture material and we can set some parameters. The line thickness damping factor can be set to zero. Uh, the larger it is, the more gradually the line that separates the views will increase and the screen line thickness is the maximum thickness that it approaches. Now back in our character, there are three things we need to do on begin play. The first is to fade the camera to black for player zero. The second is to create a capture widget for that player based on our the capture widget from the project. And then we set the capture material parent to be the instance we just made. And we add that to the viewport. The third thing is to set our scene capture component 2D's texture target to be our variable that we sent in from the editor. The last thing to set is project settings in maps and modes. Make sure set use split screen is off because we're doing it ourselves. And if you want to use the sticky version, you can go in Voronoi Camera Maths to the sticky function and set that to use sticky or to not use sticky. With that, you should be ready to use the Voronoi split screen system.